Hi, Wendy here again. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resize the ready to print PDF spray card, toll spray card on the Divine Christmas DVD using Craft Artist 2. Okay, I've got Craft Artist 2 open and I've got an A4 portrait document open. Go to File, Import PDF. You'll need to locate your folder. I'm going to click on the left side of the insert and then I'm going to hold down my control key I'm going to choose the right side the one with the wording if you want to add your own wording you would choose the blank version uh, the decoupage and the main card let go of your control key and press open it takes a few seconds for the four documents to come into craft artist and here we have them. If you look here, this is the original document I had had open. There's the left side insert, the right side, the spray card and the decu uh, the main piece. Okay, I'm going to start with the left side of the insert. I'm going to click on it to highlight it and I'm going to crop away some of the side. Um, I'm not being precise, so all I want to do is get rid of some of the white space. If you don't need the instructions, you can uh, cut that away too. That's one. This is the right side. Again, I'm going to crop away, but just go up to that line. You need this line here. That tells you where to cut, and I'm going to get rid of the instructions. The decoupage, the same principle. I'm going to crop away the majority of the left side because it's blank and then to the main piece and again crop. The reason why I'm cropping is it just makes it easier to stack it all up in a minute. Okay I'm going to go back to the left side of the insert and I'm going to click on it and I'm going to right mouse it and cut. I'm going to go to my original document right mouse and paste. Then I can go back to that left side and I can close it but say no to changes. I'm going to repeat the process for the right side back to my original document and we're going to stack these on top of each other. Close the original and say no. Next it's the decoupage, right mouse, cut, back to the first one I opened and paste. I'm going to slide that over so it's centralized. You'll see why when we come to resize it. And close the spray, say no to changes. And the last one is the front. Cut, back to my original and paste. Okay, go back to the main piece, close and say no. So now you have your original document and you have the four pieces all stacked on top of each other. Okay, now I'm going to drag the left side of my mouse and I'm going to group them all together. Now when we resize, all of them will be sized together. Okay, so how do you know what size you want? That's not quite so easy only because we, have, we still have blank white space. Um, but we've cropped as much as we can but we can get a guesstimate on it by just pulling it out and if you have a look at the uh, centimeters at the side and the bottom you'll get an idea okay so I'm going to use it for the height so I'm just going to go to 20 centimeters which is roughly 8 inches high okay that'll do me Okay, once I've um, got the size that I want, I can ungroup them. So you pull across again, I'll do that again. You pull across with the left side of your mouse and you ungroup. And now we have them all separate again. There's the two parts to the insert. Okay, so I want these two in these. Um, the left and the right side of the insert, I want them onto one piece of card, paper even. So I'm going to go to new project and I'm going to set it up in A4 landscape. I'm going to go back to my original and I'm going to start cutting these. 
away, cut and paste into that landscape I've just opened. I'm going to move that over, go back and choose the other side. If you can't see it, it's it's over here. It it pastes back into the place that it was cut from, if you know what I mean. Right, I've just it's just dawned on me. I was going to actually print that off and make it as a two part insert, but it's just dawned on me because they both fit onto one sheet, we could actually move this over. Well, what we'd have to do, we'd have to crop this one precise to the edge. Still not to the edge because I did give you a little black line around everything. So I'm just going to go in a little bit. Okay, that looks good. Now, if I line it up, and you're going to have to be precise because that picture needs to match. If you're finding this difficult, you could um, always do it as it was originally set up. Now you can see, can you see that little bit of white here? That means it needs to go over a bit, so I've highlighted it, and I'm just using my arrow key. That looks pretty good to me, that pattern looks all matched up. Yep, so I think I'll save that. That saved me a job. I may have to come down a smidge. Yep, yeah, okay. Let's go back to the original and we've still got these two pieces, the main piece and the decoupage piece. Now you can see that they both now fit onto 1A4. Okay, so let's say you're all finished and we I would probably save that as a craft artist project for future reference, for future if you want to make it uh, again or if you want to resize it again then you'd get all the pieces back onto one page and group them and resize them again but at least you've done the main bit already so you could save that as a craft artist project um, but I'm just going to save it as a PDF going to export as a PDF and press OK I'm going to put it on my desktop Okay, here it is as a PDF. Now, I don't know why Craft Artist does this, but you can see that for some reason it does it over four pages. I haven't figured that one out. But we obviously don't want to mess about with blank pages. So when you go to print, file, print, here it, you can see it says all, so it will print pages one to four. But if you choose um, current page, it will only print the page, that first page. Also, I've just noticed that my page scaling is set to shrink to printable area when we should have none. Okay. When I come to print, I always go to properties and I always choose high, high for print. Okay. And then I would print that off. Okay. So that's the first bit done. Now we go to the other part, which is the insert. So again, file, export as a PDF, OK. And it might be wanting to call it itself Project 8, which could be the same as the, the previous one. So I'm just going to put a B at the end of it and press OK. Again, it's saving as one of four. Don't ask me why, I don't know. And then I would just be able to print. See, see how page scaling has gone there again. Set it to none. If you don't change it to none, then and you've got two sheets to one project, one could print smaller than the other. We don't want that. Again, current page, so it'll only print page one. I'm not going to print them. Okay, so I think we're finished with that. I hope you found that useful. If there's anything else you'd like to see, um, just get in touch. The same principle that I've just applied would, would apply to the door, which is also a tall one. They were both originally designed to go onto Anna Marie Designs 12 by 6 card bases, which I absolutely love. 
um, but I realize that people don't want them that big all the time. I've actually made two uh, smaller ones and once they're dry I'll take some pictures and pop them onto my Facebook page. Okay, I'm going to shut up now and I'll see you again soon. Bye!